In this video clip you will be learning how to divide one number by another using the bus stop method. This time I will be showing you how to write remainders in your answer as decimal fractions. We're going to start with the calculation 142 divided by 4. The first step is to set out your calculation as a standard bus stop method. Make sure that you write all your digits really clearly. Step 2 is going to be calculating how many 4s divide into 1. So how many 4s there are in 1. The answer which, of course, is 0. You then need to carry the 1 in front of the 4 to make 14. And then you need to calculate how many 4s divide into 14. The answer, of course, is 3, which you write above the 4. You then need to carry across the remaining 2 in front of the 2 to make 22 and calculate how many 4s divide into 22. Again, the answer is 5. Write this above the 2. You then should have a remainder of 2, so the answer to the calculation of 142 divided by 4 is 35 remainder 2. We now need to work out how to find the answer and write it as a decimal fraction. The first thing you're going to do here is put a decimal point after the 2 and write a 0 in the tenths column. You then are going to carry across the remainder of 2 and write it next to the 0 which is in the tenths column, the 0 which is a placeholder. You then need to calculate how many 4s divide into 20 and write the answer above, which is, of course, 5. Also make sure that you put a decimal point above the decimal point, which is next to the number you are dividing. So you have 142.0 and above you have 35.5. This is particularly important that you get the decimal point in the right place. We're now going to have a look at how the remainder of 2 is the same as 0.5. The remainder of 2 can be written as a fraction because it is 2 out of 4, which equals or is the same as a half, which again is the same as 0.5. So the answer of 35.5 is the same as the answer of 35 remainder 2 because a remainder of 2 is actually 2 quarters or a half or 0 0.5. We're now going to have a go at another calculation and use the same method. This is a chance for you to have a go yourself and then have a look at how I have calculated it and I will go through the method. Start again by writing out using the bus stop method. Set out your digits carefully and clearly. You then need to work out how many eights divide into two, which of course is zero, and then carry across the two. Next thing you're going to do is work out how many 8s divide into 26, which of course is 3, leaving a remainder of 2, which you will carry across. You then will work out again how many 8s divide into 26, which again is 3, leaving a remainder of 2. As stated previously, you now need to place a zero into the tenths column and a decimal point between the units and the tenths. You will now need to carry across the two and then calculate how many eights divide into 20, which of course is two. This time you need to put a zero as a placeholder into the hundredths column and carry across the remainder of four to make 40. You then need to calculate how many 8s divide into 40, which is 5. You then have an answer of 33.25. 
If we go back to the remainder of 2 and write this as a fraction, that would be written as 2 out of 8, 2 eighths, which is the same as 1 quarter, which is the same as 0 0.25. So that is how 33 remainder 2 is the same as 33.25. And that is the end of how to write the answers from bus stop division as decimal fractions, the remainders as decimal fractions.